Welcome back to Dragonfall. Uh, we had an unfortunate encounter with some fire drakes. Uh, so. Ah, oh, crap. I, there's, there's really, I keep. There's no way for me. I could, you okay, I could use it on somebody. Hold on. Okay, so I can use it, but I can't hand items off. It appears. Maybe? Hold on. Because if there's more shit after this... Um, where's everybody on health? Blitz, actually I'm lower than Blitz is. Well, fuck that noise. Uh, somebody heal me. Okay, I should be topped up now. Um... Could I have theoretically wasted some of this but done a more efficient healing where I healed myself with one of these and then stocked this so that we had a net, like, overall better amount of healing resources in the party at the time? Yes, technically, but... Uh, I wish I could just hand it to somebody. But that's not an option. Finders keepers around here. All right. Is there anything else? What happened to shooting the glass? I mean, this glass, not this glass. The gaunt woman paused at the glass at your approach, her haunted yellow eyes tracking your every move. When you activate the intercom, a green light activates inside the containment cell, and she flinch it, flinches up at it, startled. You okay in there? A small voice whispers through lips that barely move. It sounds hoarse and awkward, like a rusty lock. Help. Please, help. You don't look much like a dragon. Free me. Please. You must. Let's think this through, boss. Be careful. Is that girl still inside you, Fershwinga? Are you alone in there? Alone. Alone on the wind. Must stay aloft. Ride the thermals. Make the wind work for me. So tired. So very tired now. Her yellow eyes lock on yours. Focus hard. Free me, Valclair. Free me or burn. I'm not Valclair. R Realization mixed with pity appears on Dietrich's face. My god. Fershwinga's astral form has been trapped in that woman for 40 years, and she's been confined at this cage for 20. That's torture. Yeah, dude, where were you for the previous discussion? He turns to you, conflicted. Nothing deserves this, Alice, but all the same, we can't just set her free. At the sound of the word free, the woman's eyes open wide, and she presses her hands to the glass. Free, yes, free, free. Free me and I will return to the mountain and I will sleep until the next age of this world. And I will not harm another soul, just free me, free. As quickly as it appeared, her energy drains away. 
must stay aloft, help you, grant you release from here, and you will repay in kind. Yes, yes. There is a panel in the floor behind you. Drop down into the guts of this place. The guts find the guts. But my body, by my body, the machine, by, by, by my body, the machine, break it, break it, break it. Um, is this like a promise? I mean, ugh. the conundrum of like, I, I don't even know if I'm going to have what my options are going to be. I don't think releasing, I, I don't think that even if I wanted to release Ferschwinger that there's any way to rejoin the body and soul i think it's condemned to death basically um uh, and and they've been experimenting and torturing and modifying the dragon's body so much that like i don't know i don't know like theoretically i think dragons are powerful enough that it could recover eventually maybe somehow but uh like i don't know what you would do in the meantime uh i'm not sure about this i'll find the machine and break it you'll be free her small voice is barely audible. I'll be waiting. Uh, boy, that's that's not great. The whole delivery is a little underwhelming. I know, like, it's supposed to be, you know, the broken mind of a, a broken ancient being but um yeah i i don't I, i'm i'm underwhelmed by that interaction overall i mean i guess can i even i'm really worried that it's no don't walk in the fire you f please don't die in the fire did they actually lock this place or no? Okay, they locked all the doors around it. So yes, technically I was locked in. I don't know why they didn't seal this door. That seems like the obvious one to seal, but... I'm taking the long way around just so the AI doesn't try and walk through the fire and die. All right. Into the dark. You squeeze, you squeeze through the narrow gap beneath the, floor, beneath the floor panels and climb down into a large space beneath the lab complex. Darkness surrounds you, and the air smells moldy and stale. As your eyes slowly adjust to the light, you can make out the dim planes of cobweb-covered cobweb -covered walls and scattered construction equipment. Judging by the dust and disrepair, this place appears to have been abandoned long ago. Meanwhile, somewhere else, beneath the Harfeld Manor, Paul Amsel's killer is preparing to wake a dragon and unleash it on an unsuspecting Berlin. Uh, that... You couldn't find anything else to say for this? You gotta remind us the stakes of the thing we just... It's not even the stakes. It's just... It's actually kind of underhanded to be like paul amsel's killer like it, it it really takes a lot of the wind out of the writing here when the person who we worked so hard to discover was the villain we talk them out of it and then they are immediately re replaced by somebody whose only uh whose only attachment we really have if if i'm honest is the the um 
boy, he's ugly, and he also believes in the evil. <laughs> like, the fact that he killed Paul, if they if they only wrote Paul's death in in order for us to, to make us uh, hate the character, uh, to hate um, Aldrin, like, that wasn't necessary. And, like, they already did some other things to make us dislike him, like his general demeanor when we at the very beginning of the game uh saw him uh during the botched heist and having him kill one of our characters brutally while we're unable to defend them is like the cheapest writing it's like soap opera shit Compared to the lab above, this room is also... <sighs> Compared to the lab above, this room is almost impossibly quiet. A small amount of light filters in from the narrow passage above you. There appear to be light fixtures mounted in the walls, but there is no sign of a light switch. Where the hell are we, Chief? It looks abandoned. We're in some sort of abandoned facility beneath the estate. It feels military to me, some kind of old missile base, maybe. That might explain why the doc why the late Dr. Valclair chose this place for his operation. It can't be easy to find a secret underground base big enough to house a dragon. Alright, first things first. We need to get back into the lab complex and find Aldrin and the worm before it's too late. Well, if that's our objective, we could have shot the glass. Why why is it pretending it didn't repeatedly try and tell us to shoot the glass and now it's acting like that's an impossibility <sighs> great let's get closer to the maniac with the fire breathing dragon good plan fuck you blitz say something useful we've got no choice if we don't stop Aldrin from releasing that dragon everyone in the Chris Bazaar is dead all right uh, old papers, fuel canister, generator. Okay, it looks like we gotta start generators. This appears to be a f pile of crumbling papers, but it is too dark to read them. Okay. Grab a fuel canister. And put it in the generator. This is a small portable gas generator with a standard pole cord. It has cables running from it to the large diesel fuel tanks sitting next to it. The fuel gauge reads empty. I don't... Okay. Um... Uh... So, this differs slightly depending on where you are. Um... But generally, not just in the U.S., but generally around the world, the distinction between um, gasoline and diesel, like, it is much more common in Europe to refer to what we call in the U.S. gasoline to refer to it as petrol or uh, something else. Um, but diesel is diesel the world around, and it is not interchangeable with gasoline. So... Like, I'm going to assume here that this game is not about to let us sabotage ourselves by putting the wrong kind of fuel in the wrong thing, because that would be very silly. Um, but this does become a writing problem, because this appear if, if I thought this game was smarter, which it has been at times, but not as of late, um, not calling this a gas generator but saying it is a diesel fuel tank and i believe the description which i, I didn't read so regular gasoline a sealed can of gasoline you, you can't put a regular you can't put regular gasoline in a diesel engine it it will not work you will just have to flush the system and try again with diesel What happens if I pull the start cord? Nothing happens. Leave it alone for a second. Just in case I am wrong, and this is, in fact, smarter than I think it is. 
This is a large diesel generator with an electric starter. The fuel tank reads empty and its readouts are dark. Well, if, which one is it? Because, okay, what I'm assuming here is that there's no electricity to start the diesel generator, the, the big generator, so the small generator is there as a backup in order to kickstart the big generator if all electricity is lost. Um, but it's saying that the fuel tank is empty and, a, and an engine this size sucks fuel like you wouldn't believe. I, uh, my gas tank is only going to run it for like minutes, if that. What? Hold on. Let's see what else is around. Oh, well, that's bad. I was hoping it wasn't going to drop enemies on us. Um, it doesn't have a lot of health, though. Alright, we can deal with this. Do I dare spend Alice's AP on hasting glory? Because I could spend 3 AP to haste glory for 2, or 2 AP to haste her for 1. But then all I can... Or do I just try and burst it down? We're going to try and burst it down and hope it's enough. Oh, well, I didn't even need any of that, so... Could have fussed at it less, I guess. Um, Alright, let's see. These look like bigger fuel canisters, so maybe here's our answer. This is a small barrel of diesel fuel. Ah, alright. Take the diesel fuel. I'm just going to lift that? Okay, apparently I am. Why is it in barrels over here? Also, if this place was in disrepair, uh, gasoline and diesel both have a shelf life. You can't just let leave them sitting forever. Um, they will just like separate and degrade. I think generally the 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 uh, the uh, guidance is like six months. After six months, it's considered to be like no longer usable except for in like really rough applications like maybe a two-stroke engine um okay so uh, let's i now have gasoline and diesel fuel let me read this description again did i just misunderstand this this is a small portable gas generator with a standard pole cord it has cables running from it to the large diesel fuel tank sitting next to it the fuel gauge reads empty the fuel gauge for what? This might just be a case of unclear writing. Where they actually technically got it right, but it's written so poorly it seems wrong. I think what they're trying to say is this is a gasoline generator with probably, uh, that is either, that is serving to pump diesel and start the and turn over the starter on the on the diesel generator which has its own diesel fuel uh but yeah uh wow this, this has been an adventure okay we're gonna figure out if i'm right or not next time see you guys then